all. Surely champions in waiting. But they have an inspired nation and an inspired 12 Chileans in front of them. And we have 14 minutes of thrilling gold medal match action. Turnover comes from Los Pumas. Berlin, a nation. No, a continent where everything stops for football. It really is quite a joy to see this city on pause for this gold medal rugby sevens match. But someone who isn't on pause, he is in fast forward, is Alejandro Lavallen, who swoops down the right side and motors home for try number one for Los Pumas. Santiago Mare can't add the extras. Lord for Alejo Lavayan, who only made his debut for Argentina at LA back in 2022. He adds another try against Chile, having scored one in the group stages. They had a tight tussle, these two. One that Argentina came out on top of, but one that Chile can draw a lot of positive experience and vibes from heading into this gold medal match. An error from Van Kern, which is capitalized upon agonizingly by Lavallen. Diego Van Kern. Just taking his eye off the ball. And Lavayan. Who may just be the player of this Pan American Games as far as the men's division is concerned. Converts his own score. And he's got all 12 of Argentina's. Chile have none. <laughs> Taken cleanly this time by Cristobal Game, who got the winning try against USA in the semi finals. We got a couple against Jamaica as well. Chile need their big players to step up. Oh, and one of them is Ernesto Chimino, who goes skittling through some Argentinian defenders, a dummy switch, and then a bit of looseness on the offload. Chile managed to resource the ruck, but it gets very messy and very aggressive very quickly. Francisco Uros, I think, the final guilty party. Chile just leaving themselves exposed for the counter up. Lavayan showing a cool head on reasonably young shoulders, taking his time to find the touch, knowing that. The longer they take, the more steam that comes out of the crowd as well. Lavayen on the wrap around. Lavayen almost pedaling through a gap. 
Well, they're patched up and they've been in a battle. Matthias Osadzuk, a couple of tries against Uruguay. German Schultz, a bit of football coming in from Santiago Alvarez, who took a head injury in a collision with Osadzuk yesterday. Luciano Gonzalez with the turnover and beginning to size up the whitewash before being called back to the mark. Argentina have been imperious throughout. And they control this final at the moment. Lavayan. And the referee being required to speak to the front row is not something that ordinarily happens in rugby sevens. Truly wonderful to see the acts of these Chileans capture the imagination of the public here. But the wraparound play and Alejo Lavayan with the first half hat trick continues to douse ice on the Chilean fires that were burning brightly coming into this final. He has looked utterly serene. And he adds the conversion too. The wraparound on Santiago Mare, who is returning to the seven setup after a long absence. kick off the last play of the half. Chile do well to retain it. Argentina experts at kickoff reception. They are genuinely the best in the business. Bustamante takes play to the line. And a hand coming in from Argentina. And then Chile, first of the loose ball, they win the penalty, off they go in a hurry. Chimino gets tangled round the heels. Oh, and Levian was almost in for a fourth. entirely sure what the infringement was and where it came and from whom, but Chile can breathe a sigh of relief. Up they go. On the doorstep of the Argentinian 22, their first foray into the half of Los Pumas. But the looping pass can't find the hands of Manuel Bustamante. The whistle blows and there is a man. Here's Chileans to a comeback in the second half of this final. Two tries and a conversion in the semi-final win over the USA. So he's got it in him. Have Chile got it in them? Well, Game has got plenty in him. It is Manuel Bustamante who shrugged off a puma and then set flight to the try line. 
and has delivered some belief to the Pintana Stadium. Even though the crowd roars, the flag don't go up. And Manuel Bustamante, who this year was in Vancouver and LA on the World Series 7, and even scoring against the mighty All Black Sevens in the City of Angels, now has one against Los Pumas in the Pan American Games to his name. 1915, game on for Chile. But this Argentinian outfit are so good. They're so clear in what their purpose is. Luciano Gonzalez keeps the ball alive on the floor and here's a spot of danger with Marcos Moneta beginning to weave. Osadzuk, Osadzuk, so strong and rangy. Moneta spots some room but hits some traffic. So Chile rebuild from their 22. Smart offload out of the tackle. Takes a couple of Pumas out of the equation. And roared on. The Chileans look to strike. But they run into a brick wall. Luciano Gonzalez made of granite out there on the left wing. Boy, what a hit. But it's strange seeing that beast with dark hair. For those of you new to Sevens, Argentina won a famous tournament in New Zealand in last year's World Series. And they all bleached their hair peroxide blonde. So they all had peroxide blonde hair for the rest of the series. But it's grown out and they continue to grow as a nation. And that growth has taken them to the doorstep of the Chilean line into the 22. Agustin Fraga picked up and dumped, but Los Pumas still purring, still prowling. Marcos Moneta, one more to the wing. And Matias Ozadzu coasts across for try number four. Busting through the gaps. Santiago Alvarez setting up the chance for Moneta to turn creator. Moneta has scored in every match so far here in Santiago, but at the moment he's drawing a blank in the final, which is unlike him. Scored in every series event he participated in last season and was the top try scorer in Tokyo at the Olympics. That's the quality that the flag bearer of Argentina from the opening ceremony possesses out there wearing 12. Chile still believe. Switch in the midfield. Drop of the shoulder from Videla. Chile need to get on their bike here. Clock ticking towards two minutes. They need three scores. Ernesto Chimino given his last drop of sweat to the game and Benjamin Videla 
fresh from the Rugby World Cup, started at scrum half against England out in France. Finds Cristobal Gamet, who drops it down to Avelli. Loose ball isn't what they needed there. Chile, they had real good rhythm. Sherman Schultz isn't a man to be run through with ease. Another switch, bringing play back to the short side and halted. Luca Avelli, well, a, ju a judge should have been held in the tackle, so he's not allowed to just get back up without releasing the ball. Bit of a technicality for the young man who made his debut. Paul Los Condores at the Rugby World Cup of Sevens in Cape Town last September. It looks like saying farewell to German Schultz and we're saying hello to the evergreen the man who I can never ever see retiring Gaston Revolt wearing eights for Argentina readying to throw this line out in with a minute and two seconds on the clock Argentina surely home and hosed at 24-25, but Chile continue to fight. Salas in reverse. Well, that was a loose shot coming in on Avelli. Chile continue to probe down the short side, but... And Albi Salete, alleyway is presented. Off they go, keeping the ball alive. Lovely option, crossfield pass, and then the skip inside. Chile mixing up their attack, but finding meters hard to come by. With the sky blue and white wall presented in front of them, the gold medal is gone. But is one more magic moment in Santiago here for Los Condores. Pin perfect pass into space, out wide to the right, a tip tackle at the very last ditch. Brings down Clemente Armstrong. Strabucci off the floor to Videla who wraps around. Armstrong almost grappled into touch, but such is the desire that even Gonzalez can't deny them just yet. Salas. Wild offload. Penalty advantage, so we will get another play. Nicholas Garafulic. G's up the crowd that little bit more. How special it would be for him, having cruelly missed out on the World Cup through a last minute injury to be able to get on the scoreboard in this final. Let's not forget to commend the Argentinian defence who have faced an onslaught fueled by absolute passion by Chile and they've stood up to the test. They continue to do so, but can Los Condores break through? They are stolen from at the very last moment. Oh, but then grappled from Moneta. The DJ hits the celebratory tunes a little prematurely because there was a knock on earlier in the passage. Garafulic is denied a try in the final.